एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर सुरभि साहनी द फाउंडर एंड द होस्ट ऑफ द चैनल डॉक्टर सुरभि साहनी डेंटल सीरीज एंड मेडिकल वीडियोस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल येट देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट बाय प्रेसिंग द बटन सब्सक्राइब एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन so that you can have the notification of my upcoming videos today we are going to talk about two important terms which we usually read in the subject of journal surgery whether you are a bds student or you are a mbbs student these two term are very very important and little bit confusing so today i am going to clear your all your confusions so let's begin with the first term the first term is asepsis and the second term is antisepsis do you think these two statements are same one no they are equivalent but there is a little bit difference between the two terms the first term is asepsis again as a name suggests a plus sepsis that means all those procedures which are carried out before doing any surgical procedure so as to prevent the spread of the infection that is known as asepsis for example we do the sterilization of the instrument we do the autoclaving of the instrument we will wear the gloves the disinfection of the whole room before carried out any surgical procedure so these are all the example of asepsis on the other hand antisepsis that means all the precautions which are carried out after the surgical procedure has been done today that means already there is the presence of the microorganism which might cause infection or some kind of a disease so we take a particular precaution so as to prevent the spread of those microorganisms for example we wear the gloves before doing any surgical procedure we wear the caps and tie our hair so as to prevent the infection in that particular area another example is the disinfected wound which has to be treated by some doctor or a dentist so as to prevent the spread of infection so that's all about the difference between asepsis and antisepsis in case of asepsis we carried out the procedure before the surgery and in case of antisepsis we carried out the surgical procedure at that time only that means today only the surgical procedure has to be carried out and after that we took the certain precaution so as to prevent the infection and its spread this question is very very important in your viva in case of oral surgery for bds student as well as in gs for bds and mbbs student there is already one more video which is already present in my channel regarding the hospital associated infection or we can say the nosocomial infection another important topic of gs i will put the link in my description so as you can check it out very well Till then keep watching stay healthy stay safe thank you for watching